Hello, my name is Andrine Soli, and I'm the director of the Public Interest Technology University Network, PITUN for short. In 2019, PITUN created the Public Interest Technology University Network Challenge. The challenge is meant to encourage new ideas, foster collaboration, and incentivize information and resource sharing across the network. In 2019, we distributed $3.1 million to 27 projects across the network. The projects are just beginning to yield results and we asked the grantees to talk about their first year as Network Challenge winners. The other thing that we learned through the process is how helpful it is to have the network of, of public interest uh, universities uh, who could send students to our program. So without all that much effort, uh, we had students apply from over a dozen different universities. One of the exciting things about the application process is that it gave us a real vehicle and an opportunity to build relationships and partnerships with other uh, units at Stanford. Uh, Stanford's a very decentralized university. There's a lot of amazing things going on, but too often um, different centers, programs, labs are working in isolation. And so the, the network challenge gave us, a gave us an opportunity to, to reach out to some of those possible partners. And it really sought to get a tr tremendous cross section of university involvement as well as disciplinary involvement. The other thing that was nice about the way the challenge uh, was administered had to do with this notion of outreach that a lot of times the very communities most adversely impacted by technology or an issue were the groups that you normally don't see trying to be a part of the solution. But it seemed like the way the challenge was organized, it forced uh, inclusion of a much broader group of people, the people who in some ways can take ownership and fight for themselves. One thing I learned is that I have colleagues um, down the road from me uh, at Georgia State that, um, you know, that I had, had frankly never interacted with before. And I think this has been a, a real benefit of the project to both institutions. You know, Georgia Tech has tremendous strengths on the technology side. Um, and we were able to put that together with criminal justice and social work, which are two domains that Georgia Tech doesn't, um, you know, begin to touch upon. Just the process of putting together the PIT grant really opened up and exposed us to other people on campus. Uh, there were people from multiple other units on campus that we weren't aware of that were aligned in our mission. And then also, it really did light a flame. Um, under you know moving us the students the rest of the institution to really move forward on this um i'm i'm so happy that we not only got the grant but that we were asked to compete for the grant um, a couple of really wonderful things happened from there um, in a way that i think the people who thought up this this network challenge understood uh, it was a forcing function to get our institution to, to get its act together. I feel like it's that it's important that the work that we're doing with students who are transitioning to college and forging their clear academic and forging uh, clear academic pathways for chronically underserved um, youth is um, I'm glad that 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 um, that our funders and our crew uh, sort of view this as something that's important and of value. And I think this is one of the things that's um, always a value to a, a network kind of approach. So the, the, a network challenge like this or a network grant, to be able to get people to think from the start, how can we use this opportunity to expand our network? Because it's always easiest to just go to the people down the hall and say, would you like to put in a grant proposal together? Let's try to get a bit of money to do this interesting thing. But it's a little bit more work to go outside your institution, to go outside your existing network of, of collaborators and to think who else in Pit UN or who else outside Pit UN might we collaborate with. What we really learned is that um, there's nobody out there teaching this. We tried to find everything that we could to build the online materials and the clinic from. We couldn't find a lot of stuff. So there's a gap. We learned there's a giant gap in teaching about cybersecurity, particularly from a social engineering or defensive social engineering perspective. It gives us the opportunity to link the academic work that we usually do with the reality itself, and also to touch the communities and be in relationship with them. We have been able with this project also 
I have had with the project a lever that had allowed me to get closer in, co in, in touch with the local governments. And they have been listening to our project with eyes open and they're supporting us. Thanks to this project, I have been able to find a place in the, in the large initiative for resilience that, the, that the, the local governments are developing. But not only that, I'm also being able to create this program thanks to the support from Pitton to invite the students to make a, a, take a path on their way to have jobs and to work and also not only for them, but for the communities.